Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be talking about five quick tips you can use to increase your productivity when using Slack. So Slack is a great business tool that allows you to communicate with other team members in your business really effectively. However, sometimes it can take some time to get back to people, to respond to messages, and this video is all about making everything more streamlined, everything quicker, and making things get noticed when they need to be noticed. So let's go ahead and jump into the video, starting with text formatting tips. So as you can see on the screen right now, there are a few shortcuts that you can use in Slack to bold text, italicize text, and to underline text very quickly. All you need to do is enter the keyboard shortcuts that are on the screen right now, and you'll be able to do all of those text formatting shortcuts. This is a great way to get your message noticed in a Slack group, and this will get a response to your message much quicker than just pasting a huge wall of text. Next up is the reminder tool, which will allow you to type slash remind me in or at a time to do a certain task. So I know that was a little confusing, but you can check down in the description below or on the screen right now to see what the reminder short code is in order to have Slack remind you about a certain thing. It's really effective for reminding you to record a video, reply to a message, or just do a general task that you have forgotten about throughout the day. Tip number three is possibly my favorite. It's the one that I use most of all, and it is react to messages with emojis. So every time someone sends a message on Slack, you have the option to react to it with an emoji. All you need to do is hover over the message and you should be able to go ahead and react with an emoji. As you can see on the screen right now, it's super simple, really easy, and it's so much more effective than replying with a bunch of text to one message to let someone know if you agree, disagree, like, or dislike what they had to say. Tip number four is advanced search, which will allow you to search by usernames, dates, which could be the date before, the date on, or a date after a certain time. And you can also search by other advanced features in Slack. It's really effective for finding a message that you sent last week or two months ago or six months ago. If you're gonna be searching for messages a lot, I highly recommend becoming familiar with their advanced search features. Tip number five is hex colors. Every time you put a hex into Slack, it'll actually put the color of what it actually is next to the text, as you can see on the screen right now. So if you work a lot with design or designers, it's absolutely perfect for being able to see if a color is going to look good next to black text on a white background. And you can also be sure that they like the color before they go into Photoshop and change all of the settings. We use this feature all the time when working with designers on our team, and it's absolutely wonderful for getting points across before actually having to go through and change all of the designs. Tip number six is a bonus tip, and and it is the slash shrug command. Try saying that 10 times fast. Anyway, as we know, there's not really a shrug emoji, so Slack has the ability to type slash shrug anytime you want to react to a message with that. So all you have to do is, like I said, type slash shrug. It'll pull that up on the screen. You can hit send, and there you go. You have reacted to that message with a shrug. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and let us know what you thought about these six quick tips to improve your productivity in Slack. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Video.